Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Pisces, for the week of March 27. If you like this video, Pisces, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I really, really appreciate it, trying to get my channel going. And if you'd like a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box below. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces, anywhere in your chart. Or if you're just checking in on a Pisces, you're definitely welcome here, but it might not resonate with all of you. All right, let's get you a moon oracle. I'm excited to do this reading. Pisces, I feel like something big is coming for you. Let's see. What do you need to release? The waning moon. Oh, I got to release something to have this big thing come in. Some new adventure when I was meditating on you before Pisces, the ace of fire came out. So look how beautiful this is. A brand new beginning. That's why I'm excited to do this reading. I want to see what this is. On the bottom of the deck, a time for healing. <laughs> so you got to heal something. You have to heal something here to get into this big new adventure for you. And release. Something needs to be released. All right, an animal spirit card for up in the ether for Pisces. What kind of animal spirit guide is watching over Pisces? Ooh, the black egg. Wow. Untapped magic. Untapped spiritual potential here. Pisces is loving that the spirit card comes out. Wow, some kind of unstruck chord. It's about to be struck. <laughs> There's an inner tone, an inner vibration within you that is really getting louder, getting stronger. Stingray, stingray on the bottom of the deck, clearing. A clearing is needed. You've got to smudge away the energies. When you're bringing the energies in, Pisces, don't forget, you have to get rid of those energies uh, because uh, it weighs down heavy on you. You can feel them around you. So it's time to smudge. It's time to get the sage out or get the spray out, whatever it is you do, meditate and uh, smudge them away because there's some kind of new beginning waiting for you here, some kind of um, song that is uh, being um, put out there for you to pick up on and you're just starting to feel the vibration of it. I love that. I love that. You're following your heart with that. Fighting. Look at the Zentero card up in the ether. Wow. Fighting, fighting. I think you're just fighting for this new adventure. You're fighting for this new dream to come in. But boy, you're feeling very defensive about it. That's why you've got the egg here. You've got, you're very closed up. You're not ready to reveal it to anyone just yet. You're really um, fighting for it. Love that. I love that fire within you. And letting go. Look at this. Absolutely let it go. Go with the flow here. Pisces, I love that. Whew, that big breath, that sense of relief, that, uh, yeah, this is my path. This is the way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And you're fighting for it. All right, Pisces, I'm going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot cards today. A beautiful gift from my Pisces mother. I'm so loving them. And let's see what they have to say for you. What is on your mind? What is Pisces thinking about? What is Pisces thinking about, Spirit? What's going on, Pisces? <laughs> the Knight of Wands. Look at this. You've got some kind of message you need to reveal. Something about your magic, though. Something about your abilities, your spiritual ab ability. Yeah, hard to say. Spiritual abilities coming through here. And you're ready to reveal it, but you're holding it in right now. You're really not revealing. It's like you're learning something new here. You're picking up on something new here. Loving, loving that. But look at that wand going. Look at that magic you are creating here. Wow, you're just kind of keeping it to yourself. You're not revealing it right now because <laughs> you're learning it i love it i love it i love it okay what else is on the minds of pisces tell me about pisces spirit six of pentacles reciprocity coming to you this this is going to bring you in some fortune here some reciprocity so what you're learning here is going to pay off so if you're going to school for something if you're just picking up on something something's caught your your uh passions up here your your juices flowing here it is definitely going to pay off for you financially it's a a reciprocal energy it's coming back to you it's very karmic whatever this is a karmic return for you what else what else for pisces if that wants to come out it'll come out 
the three of cups is celebration, <laughs> the friendship group, the people celebrating you and this new idea of yours, this new idea that you're kind of defending here. Wow, I'm loving that. You're coming up with all the reasons why you should do this, not why you should not do this. <laughs> I like that. You're embarking on a new adventure here, Pisces, and I'm really loving this uh, excitement you have for it. It feels like it's been a minute since you've been really excited about something. What else? What else is in the mind space for Pisces? <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about Pisces. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Look at this. It's all about magic. It's all about spirituality and learning this new path, learning this new journey toward a bigger picture here, a bigger path here. It's like you're celebrating the moon cycles. You're celebrating your friends. You're celebrating your support group here. And you're feeling a real reciprocal energy when it comes to love and those relationships around you. You can feel the love returning to you. Love that. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Look at this, your wish come true, your dream coming true here, your independently owned here. Nobody gets to tell Pisces what to do. <laughs> you're just sitting there with your glass of wine and your book and you're saying, life is good. <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's just, it's just uh, uh, abundance all around you, abundance all around you. There's pentacles and apples up in that tree. So you really got it all. You've got everything you need. <laughs> I love that. All right. What's in that heart space? What is Pisces feeling? What is Pisces feeling? Tell me about Pisces heart space here, spirit. Tell me about Pisces. Five of cups really letting it go. Look at that. You're willing to let it go for the abundance that's behind you here. So don't just look at what's been lost here, Pisces. It's time to just let that go back to see back to where it came from here and turn around and see the abundance that's waiting for you here. There's so much to look forward to. So yeah, the best is not um, behind you. It's ahead of you and you're understanding that. But you have a lot of abundance coming to you and not just in money and all kinds of um, avenues here. So all kinds of streams of abundance coming toward you. I love that. But it has to do with letting go of the past so that that can come in. Five of Pentacles, another card of letting go of the past, letting go of the struggle, letting go of the belief that it is a struggle, really changing your mindset about that and bringing in ease and flow, ease and flow. I can do this. This is easy. This is the way I'm supposed to go. I can see the way now here. Fives are all about change, Pisces. So something is changing for you here. It's, it's, uh, <clears throat> There's something about the egg too. Look at the eggs I just noticed in the um, in the five of cups there. There's something about an egg and hatching something new and uh, looking at something new here, learning. There's something about learning something new here and it really brings you into abundance and excitement and joy and just this, this sense of uh, uh, adventure coming in for you. Four of Cups. Look at this. You've got the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. You've been holding on. You've been thinking this is it. This is all there is. This is all there ever is going to be here. And you've been kind of wallowing in that, just really feeling stuck and stagnant here, like nothing ever changes. And then this sense of adventure comes in, this sense of excitement because you picked up something new. You learned something new here. So there's some kind of quest here, some kind of um, new idea coming to you where it's like, yeah, that is interesting. I'd really like to learn more about that. And that idea, that thought propels you into this new cycle, this new beginning, and it is uh, adventurous. It's filled with adventure. You're not, you're no longer apathetic toward your life. You're no longer looking at your life and saying, wow, I can't believe this is all there is, or, or how did I get here? Or well, what am I doing? What am I doing? And then you, you just let it go. You just let it go and say, you know what? I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm just going to lift up the paddles and see where this boat takes me. And it takes you to independent strength, learning, a higher learning coming in, a spiritual learning coming into you. Wow. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What else? What else in the heart space for Pisces? So much magic. You're a very powerful magician here. It's like you're casting these spells. Oh my God, right? You're casting spells. 
Look at that. It's the Eight of Pentacles. The Heart at Work card. You are casting spells. You are casting a new beginning for yourself. You've got the recipe. You've got the potion. You've got the, uh, uh, the inspiration here to create something new. There's a new recipe coming into you, a new idea, a new uh, beginning. Absolutely a new beginning with the Eight of Pentacles. And really financially, it's going to pay off. Whatever this learning, higher learning is, when you um, really get going with it and you reveal what it is, you're not re really revealing it to anyone else right now, or maybe a few people, of course, but you're not getting it out there yet. You're not um, showing your cards yet, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> and when you do that, when you do that, it's going to really pay off. People are going to be resonating with you and really listening to what you have to say. You've become some kind of master. How lovely. It's like you're the professor now at Hogwarts, maybe. Four of Swords. Look at these fours. My God. But this is a time of rest, a time of healing, a time of letting go and change. There's a lot of change. You've got uh, two fives, two fours, and an eight here. An eight is all about the karmic return, the karmic uh, reward from something you've put out there, from something you've given out there. And there's a big reward coming for you. And the fours are all about rest. Take that break. Take that minute before cycles here. Let that transition period um, unfold into the next one here naturally instead of pushing your way into it, instead of um, fighting your way into it, arguing for um, why you have to do this and really thinking, well, why do I want to do this and get back into the energy of the wanting of it, of the wanting more information, of the wanting the higher learning of it. And that's what's going to really get you off and running, really have you just know what those potions are and what to mix in there here. So you're very, very intuitive. Your Pisces are all very intuitive anyway. You're very psychic, very telepathic. Um, your, your empaths are absolutely, absolutely empaths where you feel the energy around you. You can walk into a room and you know what they're, you know what they're talking about. You know what the energy is. You can feel it to your core here. So there was some kind of cycle in the past that you're moving on from. You're learning something new. You're getting into some new passion here and it changes everything. It really opens up some kind of spiritual healing path where you're able to use your um, experiences and heal others with it with your magic potions here it's so beautiful i'm loving this i'm loving this energy from you pisces what's in the foundation justice look at this karmic return spirit is watching you are about to be elevated you are about to be ascended up as the ascended master here yes pisces look how beautiful this is libra energy coming in but uh, justice is not blind when it comes to you. You've seen some things. You see how that blindfold is uh, very loosely tied around there and she's peeking through uh, the, the, uh, the blindfold there. Wow, I'm loving that balance you're finding. I'm loving these laws. You see how she's learning those Akashic records. She's learning the higher uh, secrets that are available to us that you're, you're just looking into it. You're like, yeah, that's very interesting. I want to learn more about that. And you're just diving right into it. Knight of Swords. Look at this. You are. You are diving right into it. You're in fighting mode. You are defending why you need to do this, why you want to do this whatever this is, but it's something to do with spirituality, something to do with your magic and finding your magic. I mean, I'm seeing this moon up here in the three of cups of celebration. Pisces, you are the moon here. So there's something to do with spirituality and intuition, using your intuition, the gifts that you have been given by spirit are awakening or coming to life. And you're celebrating that because you always felt this calling. You always felt this pull toward the unknown here, toward the magical part of life. And then there was some experiences that pulled you back into reality, back into this earthly realm. But you're using those experiences to, to take that spirituality further. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love this energy. Oh, look at this with the sun. There's so much celebration coming for you. So much happiness and um, knowing all is well, a complete sense that all is well and knowing this, using your faith to guide you, using your intuition to purely to guide you here is so glorious. Woo! You are one powerful energy, Pisces. And the page of pentacles, more messages. You have something to reveal here, something to say that helps the collective start to heal. You have very, very wise words. You're so wise here. 
and the king of pentacles there's the bounty there's the abundance the happiness and joy coming to you the the feeling very very much secure like you have everything you need to do this you have all of the resources to do this and the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck <laughs> yeah you're about to have some riches rain down on you, whatever it is you are learning, whatever it is you're interested in, whatever it is, a hobby you've picked up or a, an idea that you've picked up here, you're running with it and you are really studying it. You're, you're trapped in the web of it almost. You, you just really can't focus on anything else right now. And that spirit, that is spirit, absolutely using that empath connection of yours to spirit here and guiding you to jump into this and jump in um, after this period of healing, after this. Yeah, look at that. There's a spider web in there. I, and I can see that you're really intricately making this work. You've got all the details planned out here. It is glorious. I'm loving this. All right, let's look at the um, energy around you and also some clarification on that message that you have. Knight of Wands on Knight of Wands. <laughs> Pisces, you're learning something. You are absolutely embarking on a new adventure here. And you're not revealing it. Not yet. Not yet. You're keeping it to yourself. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles again on the Six of Pentacles at Reciprocity. There is the finish line for you, Pisces. You've done it. You've chosen wisely. You've chosen the right path for you. You know which way to go now. You know what you want to learn now. So it's like uh, starting college and not knowing what your master's is. And now you've, co you've come into this understanding of, oh, that's what I want to learn. That's what I want to, that's what I'm interested in. Love that. And the two of cups, the merging of energies, sitting on the three of cups, the celebration of the friendship group, the support group, counting on others, relying on others. After all the times that people have relied on you, now you get that reciprocal return. You get that return of karmic energy that you've expended out there. Oh God, I love that. I love this celebration for you, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles. Wow, on the Queen of Wands. <laughs> wow. Look at this leadership. Look at this wonderful magic you are bringing into your own life here. It's like you are the magic you wanted to see here. Be the miracle. Pisces says, be the miracle and you'll see the miracle. You've got it exactly right, Pisces. You've got it. You've got the right idea. You've got, you've got the, uh, you've got the <laughs> gift. It is a gift. You've been gifted something. It's a psychic gift that you are learning how to use right now. You're going to use it so uniquely, so beautifully that so many people are going to be turning their heads toward you and saying, wait, what did you say? What did you say about that? I need to hear more about that. They're eager to learn more about that. King of Pentacles, look at that. You're grabbing life by the horns, grabbing the bull by the horns. All kings, queens. I mean, this is beautiful. Pisces, you've elevated up. You've, you've changed your vibration here. You've changed your stars here because of an interest, something that was out in the ether. It kind of twinkled out there. You were interested in it, but it was something unattainable to you. It wasn't meant for you in your mind here. And then something shifted, something drastically shifted in your heart space here where you were tired of waiting for life to begin. You were tired of waiting for your real life to begin. And you just grabbed it. You said, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I want. And this is what I'm doing. And that's why you've been fighting for it. You've been fighting for this dream, fighting for this goal of yours. And oh my God, here it comes. Here it comes to pay off. After a really harsh time, after a lot of people coming at you, a lot of people challenging you, there were some challenges there in the past that you're learning how to let go of with it sitting on the five of cups. You're really releasing those challenges. And that was the shift that it took was you to release the challenges, you to understand that um, this was your life. This is your path. This is your journey. And I've got to release. I've got to release the bonds. I've got to release the chains that are binding me. The moon, there you are, Pisces. Look at this. You're so intuitive. The moon is all about intuition and um, psychicness. You are very psychic and you have a gift that you are learning more about here. That could come in the form of Oh God, you know, accounting and you're just the best accountant out there because you see it at a bigger picture. You see it at a broader picture. You, you're some kind of healer though. So it's maybe a doctor, a nurse, a, a, um, a holistic healer, something that you are learning how to do now. You're gaining the magic potions on it and you're learning a lot more about it, but 
but you're um, gaining your recipes right now. You're just gathering everything you need to really take this on the road. Four of Wands, another celebration, another finish line, sitting on the Four of Cups where you were stagnant and apathetic and thinking this is all there is. And um, Spirit coming in and saying, are you kidding me? The best is yet to come, Pisces. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> wow, love this. Something so big coming for you. Another page, another page of wands, messages, messages, people coming to you, giving you tidbits, giving you um, these things you needed to learn, these understandings that you didn't have, but now you're eager to learn it. You're eager to understand it. Eight of cups. Look at this, the walking away and judgment. You've got judgment and justice here in the foundation and the high priestess, the, the most spiritual card of all, the higher learning, the highest learning here. You've been called to do something here. You've been called on this spiritual journey of yours. You've been tested. You've been challenged for sure. And you may have lost your faith for a minute there. You may have been very apathetic toward it, but there was a door that opened, a possibility that opened with judgment coming in. And you jumped through that portal. You knew it was time. It's just a, an innate feeling like, yeah, it's time. It was all in divine timing. Three of swords on the bottom of the deck sitting on justice card here. So isn't that interesting? It all stemmed from heartbreak. It all stemmed from, you know, um, uh, invention um, is born from necessity. Is that it? Yes. Invention is born from necessity. And that's what this is. Pisces, you invented, you reinvented yourself out of necessity, out of heartbreak and, and um, protection here. You were protecting so much that um, you've gained this, this ethereal armor that no one can penetrate here. Six of cups. Look at the soulmate energy coming in, sitting on the knight of swords more messages coming to you. It's just no doubt about it. These connections coming out of the blue, people from your past reconnecting with you, re um, calling you up. Hey, Pisces, how's it going? I've been thinking about you. That's that intuition. That's that telepathy you're putting out there. You're vibrating out there. And so people are picking up on that. You're like a lighthouse or a beacon that people can feel, especially people from your past. You're going to have a lot of um, uh, connections, uh, just reaching out, texting, uh, Facebook, something like this, where they're like, oh my God, I can't get you off my mind. How are you doing? Nine of wands. Look at that. The wounded warrior. There was some things that went on that pushed you here though, Pisces. You have to be grateful for those challenges. You have to be grateful for, for spirit making you fight for this because it wouldn't be this big. It wouldn't be this magical. It wouldn't be this, um, strong and, and beautiful if you didn't have to fight for it. Five of chalices, letting that, letting that pass go, letting those challenges go now. Now it's time to really move into this new gift of yours. Not a new gift, but a gift you have learned here and expanded on. It's an expansion here. You're going through a huge expansion here. Oh, I love this, Pisces. Yes, you are the high priestess. <laughs> Hey, Jeff Pentacles, just more messages. A lot of people reaching out. A lot of people um, all of a sudden calling you, like I said, texting you, reaching out. It's because of that energy you're putting out there, because of that vibration. People can hear it. It, it moves beyond the physical. So um, it's in the ether. People can feel you. And especially people that you've touched in your past are reaching out now and, and wanting to know how you are and wanting to tell you their story because you can help heal them somehow with whatever you're doing, whatever, whatever this intuitive gift is, you're an energy healer. So you're, when they're reaching out to you, they're in need of something <clears throat> and you've invented this new spiritual gift and you're interpreting things very, very clearly now. So you're absolutely helping these connections, these soulmate connections from your past that are reaching in now. It's all divine timing and they just needed to even hear your voice. Even if they just hear your voice, it's healing to them and they, they walk away with a much better sense of calm and peace and um, understanding. So how beautiful. I love this. I absolutely love this. Look at that on the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Swords. It was a battle. It really was a battle. It, something pushed you here. Something pushed you here. Like I said, invention comes from necessity and it was necessary for you to reinvent yourself here or to pick up on this um, intuitive um, call that has been put out there for you. But you can hear it now. You can hear it now very, very clearly. It's, it's just like this sweet song that Pisces can hear. And it's beautiful. It's that tuning fork that's vibrating with you now. And it's just, ding, there goes Pisces. You're out there. You're out in the world now. <laughs> love it. I love it. 
All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Pisces, I hope you have a fantastical week, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.